Well, first of all, this is the indigenous opera company. It's been in Charlottesville since 1978. Families have grown up on it, exposing their kids to opera. Now their kids are grown up and exposing their kids. So it's a really special homegrown experience. But I think what defined it in the first 30 years was the setting, uh, President Monroe's Boxwood Gardens at Ashlawn Highland. I think what sets the company apart now is the high quality of level of what you're actually going to see, how comfortable it is to be in the beautifully renovated historic Paramount Theater, how convenient downtown Charlottesville. But it still has the homey feel because there's 25 kids in King and I, local kids. There's a, a few uh, community supernumeraries local families house the artists so you get the homey community feel while having a real top-rate artistic experience in a comfortable setting I didn't necessarily pick my favorite pieces though I loved these pieces you design a season by what you think will work for the community and I started first with the musical because that's more people attend musicals than operas but I'm producing the musical as if it were an opera with opera singers no amplification an opera orchestra and I want to meet the community and the way to meet the community is through their kids so I picked the musical that has the largest number of kids in it and that's how I picked The King and I. We have 25 local kids in it. Well King and I is a really big show meaning a lot of people, a lot of stuff, a lot of props, a lot of costumes. It's gonna be a hundred people involved in it. So the opera cannot be big and by that I don't mean it's easy, an easy opera, just not a big one, not a big orchestra, not a big cast. And so I picked The Barber of Seville because one of the greatest pieces of all times. I mean, there's a reason why for 300 years it's, you know, sort of everybody's favorite story. And it's so funny today. And to, to take a classic piece that's really funny and that has a small orchestra and a small chorus, to me sounds win, win, win. Oh, well, the Paramount, it's like going to an opera house. It is so beautiful. It's been incredibly restored with silks and, and tapestries and chandeliers and the public rooms and the restrooms and the, the theater is in itself so beautiful, you feel like you're going to an opera house. And every seat's a great seat. Uh, it can seat up to a thousand, around a thousand people. There are no bad seats, great acoustics. But it's user-friendly. It's right on the mall. You can eat, you know, three minutes away. You have a choice of 20 different places to eat. You can park near the mall. So it's the benefit of just being really easy while it's also very elegant and uh, favors favors musical performers. We don't have to mic anybody. The sound is great. You get on the stage and you know that everybody can see you and hear you and that's a good thing. Okay. Well, Barbara Seville is a great first opera because it's a comedy and we're singing in Italian because it was written in Italian. So the composer's Italian, Rossini. It takes place in Seville, Spain. And it's based on a play by a Frenchman, Beaumarchais. So that, that's opera for you. But we project surtitles, that's a translation, running translation above the stage, the proscenium arch, so that you can continually follow every word. So it's easier to hear an opera in a foreign language with surtitles than one in English, because in English, I promise you, you would not understand singer's diction. So do, you don't have to be afraid of going to your first opera. Uh, you probably realize you know a lot of the opera already, because if you grew up on Bugs Bunny, one of the great Looney Tunes was Bugs Bunny playing the Barber of Seville. So you probably know the overture, you probably know his aria, you probably know a lot of it, because it's in commercials and uh, just been in popular entertainment for, for hundreds of years. And uh, the story is as fresh as it was when it was written, and it's lots of fun, and we have an attractive cast, so you won't feel like you know, you're looking at old, fat people yelling at you. You'll feel like you're looking at your friends up on the stage having fun with you. So to be an opera performer is about like being an Olympic athlete. It takes that much practice and that many years of training, and it's an Olympic sport to master your body, every aspect of your body, because if you're just singing from your vocal cords, you're a pop singer. An opera singer has to sing with their whole body so that their voice can be projected over an orchestra and in a theater. Um, so it's a great cast. We have two people who have sung already at the Metropolitan Opera, which is the best opera house in America. Three people who are coming from Europe, they're coming all the way from Europe to sing for you in Charlottesville, and um, supported by a chorus of young artists, those are attractive people in their 20s just building their careers, uh, and a, a real orchestra, um, 
a few local musicians, but the rest are coming from across America. And it will be a really neat set design. I've hired um, a painter. So this is going to be very artistic. It's not going to be just like high school literal set. This is an evocation of sort of the period and the fe and feeling. So I think it will be great to look at and a lot of fun to listen to. Uh, and when you follow the surtitles, you will be laughing for Less than three hours because it's less than three hours with intermission. So it's shorter than a sports event and less expensive than a sports event. Great. Well, the performances aren't until mid-July, but tickets are on sale now at the Paramount Theater. So you would either go into the box office or call the Paramount Theater or go Paramount Theater online and you can buy the tickets now online.